video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute wig in 5 minutes. Just really quick before we get started, I have this front facing and side profile mannequins that I created in my how to draw a mannequin for wigs video. I also got this background from Pinterest. I saved it from Free Pick. You can find backgrounds and anything else that you're looking for. To get started, believe it or not, I'm here on Pixar and the only reason that I'm on this app and I'm not on Procreate right now is because I'm going to go to Effects and then go to Artistic and then go to Oil Painting. And Oil Painting is what I use whenever I start creating a wig. So this is my first step, just go to like maybe 10. Before you go back and upload your image to Procreate, you're going to go to slazzer.com and then upload the image of the wig that you just used the oil painting on. After your image is finished processing, you can hold down on the image and then press add to photos. Then you can go back to Procreate and insert the image there. The reason why I had you go to Slazer and upload your photo and then add it back here to Procreate is because it just helps erase around the wig so that you don't have to go in and do it all by yourself. But the only part that you will be stuck with doing is the inside of the wig. So you just have to erase the face and the body. Inside of the wig has been erased. I'm going to use clone and start filling in some of the dark spots. The dark spots have been filled so now I'm going to go under my wig layer and then I'm going to go to my brushes, go to hair set and then start filling in some of the harsh edges around the wig. All I have to do now is add some edges and then place the wig on the mannequin. Now that the wig is placed and I like the way it looks, I'm going to add some color to the back of the wig and then maybe add a little bit more detail. Before I show you the wig placement, I'm here on Instagram and I've created some baby hairs. These are PNG images. I have front facing ones and I also have side profile ones. You can use these when you're editing for morph pictures or even when you're creating wigs. Now that the wig is finished and if you wanted to change the color of the wig, make sure that you're on the layer of the wig and then go to the top left corner to the magic wand and then go to color adjustment and then go to hue saturation brightness and then you can change the hue to make it green or even if you want it to be blue or purple. I hope that this five minute video helped you learn how to make a wig. Please don't forget to follow my wig Instagram. It's luvu.wigs.